welcome back and welcome with Wang Lu. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because my name, please call me Lilian. Okay, now this is my favorite segment, and this segment is where we get to know the artist better. We get to know uh, the subject matter that we're talking about uh, even clearer. I suppose. That's now. me. All right, that's you. That's you. That's the subject matter there. In this segment that I really love, called "Chances Are We Are." <laughs> Oi, stop that. <laughs> gila. Super gila. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is we are. Lillian is still in the house. I know, I can't and, believe uh, it. And with me, ladies and gentlemen, is Agnes. Hello, Agnes. How are you, Agnes? Now, Agnes is, is going to introduce us to this new thing. I mean, it's called? The Enneagram. Enneagram. And Agnes is from the Mind Transformation Private, Private Limited. Limited. Wow, you transform people mind, are you? You're very <laughs> terror, are you? It's just a personality typing system. Okay. Which shows that uh, we come in different nine different flavors. When you, you know this system very well and you're willing to look at yourself, yeah. it can be embarrassingly or even painfully accurate. I see. And is widely uh, recognized, this thing? Uh, very much so, mainly in the States. At in the, the moment, States. Yes. And apparently it's 99% correct. Because what happened is Lillian and I have answered some questionnaires posed by this Enneagram thing. And we answered about how many questions? 100. 144. And Lillian has done that. And Agnes has actually read all the answers. And from then on, Agnes will tell exactly <gasps> what she thinks of Lillian. Because Lillian has, has got a lot of description about herself. Because she, she said it to, 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 to show us uh, in 1997. Let's watch this. I'm very open as a person in my views or in my um, lexical um, um, expressions. Um, as well as physical expression. You know, I am sometimes rebellious, I am sometimes defiant, but I am also very nice and um, I can get very shy. You know, I don't always say everything. I'm very liberal as a person, uh, my, my thoughts. I am not so quick to judge because you, you, you didn't give me this, then I would say you're such a selfish person. Not at all. I would perhaps think, ah, he did this perhaps because this is it, and not think very much about it. And unfortunately, I don't think... Um, I had not realized that not everybody functions like I do. Not everybody has the same sort of um, ideas or attitudes about life as I do. Well, Lilin, you're number three, the achiever. Oh, number three, the achiever. Explain while I read. <laughs> the achiever is very success-oriented, result-oriented, mm -hmm. uh, very motivated to go out to achieve, to do things. Very uh, optimistic kind of person. Uh, also could be workaholic oh. in, in terms of doing doing a lot. And the achiever also tends to be very image conscious. That, that's the, the healthy part of her. Mm -hmm. What is the average part of her, which you know, sometimes can be the downfall of her as well? Well, for the number three, it would be that because they're so image conscious, mm -hmm. they, they put up a lot of facades. Mm. So there's a public image. And they have a self-image where Ooh. they need to keep up this self-image. So very much so, the number three will be talking So she hides her own insecurity. I don't think I'm a big workaholic. I see. If but I other even... than that, it's true. That you, have, you, you hide your own insecurity. I don't know. I don't know. You have a I facade. Think... I don't know. It seems that he's not in touch with herself. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Uh, one of the issues of a number three is yes. that they are not in touch with their own feelings. Oh my god! Hey, I can be a psychiatrist. <laughs> Again, but right. then I might contradict that because I'm, well, I don't know, maybe I'm not in touch, therefore I have to keep searching. Uh, maybe but you're growing, try. maybe you're growing. Yeah, maybe yeah, I'm okay. growing. So okay, what is the most unhealthy, unhealthy part of the, the achiever character? The very unhealthy part would be, in fact, deceit okay. and uh, lies. This would be in Ooh. terms of uh, not facing up to maybe reality and trying to make this uh, sugary picture or this strong facade, uh, showing this person, people, who you think you should be, or meeting up to other people's expectations. So, in mm. fact, one of the issues for three is, who am I? Because you're meeting up to other people's expectations, you're doing what other people expect of you, you're looking for society's norms and all that. Mm. And then in the end, mm. how about myself, you know? Mm. I think that's very not me. If anything, I've chosen not to be with society. But, uh, yeah, because, you know, I've chosen to be an artist versus being a lawyer, um, uh. etc. But I think uh, there are very real issues as in trying to find yourself. I see. Um, but I can certainly see that trying to live up uh, approval seeking. Mm. Um, I have seen, I still see some of that 
but I think I'm evolving. I do have something to confirm, to confirm these feelings of this character called Lilin. Uh, I brought two friends, Lilin, and uh, the two friends are here. Please welcome the two friends. Come out here, please. Achiever about she's being, uh, um, you know, she's always in a facade and she's, you know, not in touch with herself and she can be very, uh, you know, all that good things. No, no, yeah. <laughs> all that good things. Okay, what do you think? You heard what, that how, do you, how do you agree with that? Like me. The Lillian that I've known for so long, she's always been uh, playful, very assertive, almost a bully last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> She'll become more bully because she learns Shanghai, you know, like, she will okay. kick you later on. Yeah, but she's evolved. She evolved to, to a softer, to a softer, mm, softer person. Yeah, I agree with the fact that I think she's the few years that I've known her. I think she has evolved. What exactly the things that you saw, you observed <coughs> about Lilin that you think it is a quintessential of a Lilin? She's a very generous friend, very warm, very giving person. Let me see. I got Jamiru. I don't know whether that came out in that, but okay. that's that's the. Big takeaway. That's a takeaway. Ah. But uh, well, that, it seems to be that you are a lot of things, Lilin. Yeah, I'm an achiever, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all I can say is that thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, because Lilin has been really, really brave, ladies and gentlemen, I've always had something to give to all my guests, and I think it is my pleasure as well to give Lilin this palm and hurl. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And good luck. And good luck.